Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to find the value of surface integral of a scalar field. Okay, so F is a given scalar field and S is the surface we have. So let us write the definition of surface integral of scalar field first. See, we know that, let me write, we know that double integration of F over S. So its definition is double integration f of phi of u v. So here phi is a parameterization of surface S and it is defined on domain D. So that's why we solve this double integration on domain D, right? So after that we have norm of phi u cross phi v du dv. Okay. So this is the definition of surface integral of a scalar field. So for that we need to have parameterization of a surface its partial derivatives with respect to uv cross product norm and f of phi of uv. So after getting all those values, we put those values here and by solving double integration, we will have the answer. So this is a method we have. So let us write the given function. So what we have, we have, what is the function we have? It is, yes, z square simply f of x, y, z is equal to z square. So let us consider the given surface now. Okay, so what we have S is the, uh, let me simply mention S is x square plus y square is equal to z square. So they have mentioned it's a par, uh, part of cone, getting x square plus y square is equal to z square. This is the equation of cone. This is a cone we have and it is around z axis. Okay, so we have a cone like this. So let me draw a diagram so you can easily understand around z axis, this type of cone we have here. Okay this type of code. Uh, let me draw properly. Uh, yes. This is a cone we have, right? Okay. This type of cone we have and uh, between the planes. So let me mention between Z is equal to one and Z is equal to two. So Z is equal to two is a plane. Getting Z is equal to two is a plane parallel to X, Y plane. So we have a plane like this. So Z is equal to two. So here suppose Z is equal to two we have. So Z is equal to two. We have a plane which cuts that cone. So we will have a cone like this and one more circle. So see one more plane they have mentioned that is Z is equal to one. So Z is equal to one is a plane again. Getting Z is equal to one is a horizontal plane which is parallel to XY plane. And again it will cut that cone. So we will have a cone like this. Okay, it will cut this cone. Uh, at z is equal to 1. So again, we will have a circle like this. So this part of cone, okay, which is bounded by z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2. So that part of cone we have to consider here. Okay. So let us see what will we get, what will be the equation of those circles which you have got there. Okay. What will I do? I'm going to put z is equal to 1 here. So if you put z is equal to 1 here, the equation of circle will be x square plus y square is equal to 1 square. That means 1. So let me mention somewhere. So equation of this circle is x square plus y square is equal to 1 square, which is 1. So this equation of this circle getting. So this is a circle we have got with radius 1. If I put z is equal to 2 here, again, we will have one equation of circle if you put 2. So equation of circle will be x square plus y square is equal to 2 square. That means 4. Equation of this circle which you have got, okay. Uh, see. In this plane, z is equal to 2. So this is equation of circle with uh, radius 2. So the at bottom of this region, we have a circle with radius 1. And at the top of this region, we have a circle of radius 2. So this portion of cone we, we have to consider. And this is a curved surface. So that will be our S. Okay. This thing we have. So we have to find its parameterization. So you remember in unit 1, in double integration or triple integration, we have already seen when we have cone, when we have paraboloid or when we have a cylinder, we go for cylindrical coordinate system. So in this case also, I will do the same. So I'm going to put, okay, or uh, putting, uh, let me mention putting cylindrical coordinate system. That means we write X is equal to R cos theta, Y is equal to R sin theta and Z is equal to Z. But see, we have to find its parameterization. That means we have to reduce the variables. So if you consider these new variables, uh, sorry, let me change here, r cos theta. Yes. 
See uh, here R theta and Z again we have a three variables we have to reduce them. So for that what will I do I'm going to use uh, this equation okay so what is the equation of this cone x square plus y square is equal to z square. So obviously z will be square root of x square plus y square. So z is what square root of x square plus y square okay let me continue there huh? this same thing I will continue there okay. So z is equal to z is equal to what we have right now x square plus y square but x is r cos theta y is r sin theta let us put it there so we'll have r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta right what will i do i will take r square common so in bracket you will have cos square plus sin square which is obviously one so it will be square root of r square cos square theta plus sin square theta is one square square root will get cancelled and we will have r only so finally what we got z is equal to r so we have x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta and z is equal to r that means everything every variable x y z we express in terms of r and theta only so you can consider it as a parameterization then then parameterization parameterization of s is of s is we will denote it by phi, phi of r theta. What is our x? x is r cos theta. What is our y? It is r sin theta. And what is our z? r. So we have expressed everything in terms of r and theta. So we are interested to find their limits also. r. Limits of r and limits of theta. Right? So here, uh, as you can see here, the region. Okay, at the bottom, we have a circle with radius 1. And at the top, we have a circle with radius 2. So obviously, R varies from 1 to 2. And to cover a complete surface, okay, to cover a complete surface, we should rotate it by 360 degree. That means theta should vary from 0 to 2 pi. So in this way, we got the uh, parameterization uh, phi, right? So after that, what will we do? We will find its derivative with respect to R, derivative with respect to theta, cross product norm f of phi of r theta okay all these things we are going to find there is no more space to write so make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so let us find phi of r theta now okay so phi of then phi of r sorry phi r sorry huh so that means we are differentiating with respect to r so cos theta is constant right cos theta is constant derivative of r is one Derivative of this r is also 1. So we will have sin theta. Okay. Derivative of r is 1. So this is phi r. Let us find phi theta. We are differentiating with respect to theta. r is constant. Okay. Derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta. r is constant again. Derivative of sin theta is cos theta. We are differentiating with respect to theta, okay, that r, but r is constant, so derivative will be 0. So now we have to find its cross product, okay, then, then let me find phi r cross phi theta, right. So we find a value of cross product by solving the determinant, right. The first row is obviously i, j, k. This will be our second row, cos theta, sin theta, and 1, and this will be the last row minus r sin theta r cos theta and 0 so i i product of these two which is 0 minus product of these two is r cos theta right minus j product of these two is 0 and product of these two is minus r sin theta but see minus sign is already there so it will be r sin theta plus k product of these two is r cos square theta uh, minus sign is there actually getting the minus sign there product of these two minus minus plus r sin square theta so this is equal to let me simplify it further so it is minus r cos theta this is the first component see if there is minus sign so i should write minus r sin theta right and see if you take r common what will you have cos square plus sin square 1. So it will be simply r. So in this way, we got a cross product. After that, we have to find its norm. 
Okay, where shall I write? Uh, let me write here. Okay. Then, then, norm of phi r cross phi theta. So, you, I hope you remember how to find norm. Simply square root of. We find norm by finding the, uh, the square root, square root of, square of first component, which is r square cos square theta plus square of second component, r square sin square theta plus square of the last component which is r square will you guess the next step see here we can take r square common from first two components here oh, sorry first two terms getting so r square common so if you have cos square plus sin square which is one so it will be r square only and third component is still there that is r square that means it is root 2 r square if you take separate separate square root root 2 r so this is value of this norm so after that we have to find f of phi of r theta okay i'm going to find it just make a screenshot of it then i will go further so now let us find f of phi of r theta okay so this is equal to f of what is our phi of r theta i have already written here so that is r cos theta r sin theta and r right so this is definition of phi of r theta i put it here after that we have to operate f what is the definition of f f of x y z is z square that means what we do we simply take square of the third component here the third component is r so if you follow the definition its value will be r square so now everything is ready so simply we have to put all these things in a definition of scalar field of uh, see uh, surface integral of scalar field and we will have the by solving the integration we will have the answer okay then double integration of f over s is equal to double integration f of phi of r theta right over d norm phi r cross phi theta dr d theta so let us put the values f of phi of r theta its value r square we have got okay value of norm we have calculated here which is root 2 r and dr d theta also we should write the limits of r and theta here limits of r are 1 to 2 and limits of theta 0 to 2 pi so simply we have to solve this integration so root 2 is a constant will come outside the integration so root 2 will come outside okay so 0 to 2 pi and 1 to 2 r square into r r cube dr and d theta so we should solve the inner integration first which is with respect to r okay we are going to solve just let me remove this one okay make a screenshot of it then i will go further so let us solve it further so this is equal to root 2 okay root 2 integration 0 to 2 pi see integration of r cube is r raised to 4 by 4 with limits 1 to 2 did it okay so i am going to put upper limit lower limit so it's a constant i'm taking here outside huh? root 2 if i put 2 here we will have 16 by 4 and if i put 1 it will be 1 by 4 integration 0 to 2 pi d theta so root 2 so both of them have the same denominator we can subtract numerator 16 minus 1 we will have 15 so 15 by 4 integration of d theta is theta with limits 0 to 2 pi so let us put upper limit lower limit it is 15 root 2 by 4 if you put upper limit we will have 2 pi if you put lower limit we will have 0 no need to consider what will happen that 2 2 will get cancelled to each other and we will have 15 root 2 pi divided by 2 so this is a required answer so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you